Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the doors of the Freemasons Lodge on North Terrace or exactly who the Royal Order of Antediluvian Buffaloes are? Well, one to know more. Leah McLennan has penetrated these not-so-secret societies and found a group of men dedicated to helping others. What goes on behind the exterior of this building is a mystery to many. It's the Freemasons' Hall on North Terrace. According to numerous conspiracy theories, Freemasonry has been behind everything from Satan worship to faking the Apollo moon landings. But the Freemasons say the secret is, there is no secret. There's a lot of myths around about Freemasonry being a secret society. We're not. In fact, if we were, I don't think we'd have your film crew in here today. We wouldn't have tours of our buildings that are open to the public on Thursdays and I guess we wouldn't have a prominent building on a, on a prominent street in Adelaide if we were a secret society. Ray Clark is South Australia's Grand Master. Today, with the help of Robert Klein, he's giving us a behind-the-scenes look at the Freemasons. Well, this is the way room. This is the room in which Grand Lodge meets. And you'll see up here we've got the, the pedestal which, where the Grand Master sits to preside over the meeting. The exact origins of Freemasonry aren't known, but it's believed it started in England sometime in the 16th century. Since then, many prominent men from Mozart to Sir Donald Bradman have been members. In this hall hang the photos of the South Australians who have held the title of Grand Master. And a number of them have been uh, governors of South Australia itself, including we've got here the Air Vice Marshal Sir Robert Ellingham George. We've got uh, Sir Malcolm Barclay Harvey. The Freemasons say their ceremonies are centuries old. Robert Klein says it's based around the symbolism of masonry. And we use these as tools to teach about building uh, better men. And for instance, this uh, is, a, is a classic. Uh, uh, Cube perfectly made, which is being raised to be fitted into a, to a building in a symbolic, in a symbolic way. A lesser known so called secret society is the Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes. Like the Freemasons, their origins are unclear. The first official record is in 1822, and Ken Churcher says a few decades later they arrived on Adelaide's shores. And on a board from the original uh, RAOB Lodge in South Australia, which was established in 1896. Like the Freemasons, the Buffaloes, or Buffs as they call themselves, are quick to dispel the myth of secrecy. All of our ceremonies that we use are all available. Matter of fact, they're all in the State Library, the, the Library in Canberra. Whether you'd understand what they mean is a, another thing, but no, we haven't got any real secrets, only... only certain passwords that we use to let people enter our lodge. That's, that's really it. While the Buffs aren't affiliated with the Freemasons, they have many things in common, including the aprons, gauntlets and other regalia they wear during official ceremonies. Leah, this is the regalia that the Grand Prime of South Australia wears for when he's in office. This is passed on from Grand Prime to Grand Prime, who is in office every 12 months, sometimes with... Brothers with big bellies, you've got to adjust it. Let get over that part. And we are ready for our entrance into a lodge where the show is being held. This is the way we go in. Another thing that both the Freemasons and the Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes have in common is their philanthropic and community work. In conjunction with the University of Adelaide, the Freemasons have formed the Freemasons Foundation Centre for Men's Health. And it's this new initiative that the Freemasons are keen to talk about. I guess I'm, I'm the same as most men. We don't tend to take care of our bodies as well as we should. And it's quite often been said that a young person will look after, a young male will look after his car much better than he looks after his own body. Professor Villas Marshall is the director of the centre. He's a urologist, the clinical director of surgical services at the Royal Adelaide Hospital and a clinical professor of surgery at the University of Adelaide. He says the Centre for Men's Health will take a more comprehensive approach to research than other centres. This has been in relation to uh, hypertension, in relation to prostate cancer, in relation to uh, mental illness. And so this was much more a research focus. But as we've gone on, we've, I guess, developed the other main 
uh, thrust of the centre is really trying to improve public uh, education and to get men more involved with their health. And that's where the Freemasons come in. We will be using the Freemasons to become coordinators to run these uh, health uh, assessment and health development programs. And what we want to do is to see whether, in fact, we can actually make a difference. If we can, we think we may be then able to export some of this information to other male clubs because one of the things that is, again, quite different between men and women is that men seem to be more keen to form clubs. And that's why the Buffs decided to support the centre as well, with a $12,000 donation. It's the first time the South Australian Buffaloes have banded together with the Freemasons, but Ken Churcher hopes it won't be the last. I can think of countless numbers of men that have gone down with various men's, men's, uh, men's health issues, particularly prostate cancer, uh, lung cancer, you know, uh, the more common things we hear about. It's making men more aware of what's available for men's health. It's also giving the research centre much needed funds to carry out that research.